Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we want to make a very simple poncho from two rectangles. And we are going to work it on a simple LK150 knitting machine. So the design is very simple. You will have to knit two rectangles and sew it up so it looks like that. And this part is a square, so for the size of the rectangle, you will be two squares. And I add some hand manipulated ribbon on three sides, so it doesn't curl. And one side is attached to the other piece, so you don't need a ribbon. The yarn I'm using is a Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool and it comes a very large size. It's 8 ounces, it's 465 yards or 425 meter. So one ball of the yarn can make one piece of the rectangle and we'll need the two balls to make the poncho. So I use tension 7 on my LK150 for both carriage and the mast tension. And my gauge is 5 stitches per inch and 5.5 5 rows per inch. And I already made one piece here. The finished piece is around 20 inches by 40 inches. And of course you can adjust it according to your own size. For the cast on, I start from left 49 to the right 50. You can see I pull out some needle to prepare for hand manipulated ribbon. I'm going to reform these few stitches into pearl stitches. And the stitch on the top is intended for dropped stitch, so I take it to out of work position. And I start the first one from 40 and then 20, 0, 20, and 40. So those are the drop stitches. I move it to the non-working position from the start. And then we just need to decide the location of the pearl stitch. For the edge, I will continue to have three pearl stitches all the way throughout the piece. But the rest of the pearl stitch will be just the first 10 rows. And you can lay out any way you want. I have it every three stitch in the middle and then every four stitch I reform it and I leave one stitches next to the dropped stitches because I have less stitches to reform so it will be easier when you hand manipulate the stitches. So that's the idea here and of course you can modify any way you want and change the pattern or you can do a mark ribbon. Just start with every other needle, knead it, and then hand it back again. Now I push all the needles back except the drop stitches. I'm going to erupt all the stitches, hand some weight, and knead first 10 rows. That's after the first erupt row. And I have carriage set to plain knitting, tension 7. And I will hand some weight and knead 10 rows. And I place my yarn in a basket under the table and I pull out some loose yarns on top of the table so it doesn't get too tight. After 10 rows you can see the drop stitch here and now we need to do the ribbon. So we decide which stitch we want to reform into the pearl stitch. So on the edge I have every other row and now this one is the drop stitch. After that I have one stitch and then every three stitches. And then there's one stitch and again that's the drop stitch and we just continue all the way. After we decide which stitches to drop we just take it off. Now we drop the stitches. It's easier to take out the weight. If you unravel all of the stitches, you can use the latch up hook and latch up those two together and give it a twist so it's tighter at the bottom. After the twist, you can start to latch one by one. Just place the next bar into the hook. So 
So that's the first reformed ribbon. And the next one is a fourth stitch from the right. Drop it. And if you don't want to unravel all of that, you can keep the last two together because one is a cast on. And then just use your hook. It's easier to hook this way from the back to the front. And then latch up. This way you don't have to twist the button. Either way will work. And then hand it back to the needle. So we just keep going for all the stitches we pick up until all the ribbons are done. So that's after all the hand manipulated ribbon. And now we can start to do the main part. And we are going to have 190 rows. It will be very long, but we can do it about 10 rows at a time or 15 rows at a time. And then do the manipulation of the edge ribbon. I'm only going to do the first three to keep it flat and the rest will be just plain knitting. So I will need 10 rows and we will do the ribbon. So hand some weight and then we start knitting. Now I need 10 rows. You can see the drop stitch creates an interesting pattern. And now I'm just going to hand manipulate the ribbon on the edge. I will just do the first three one. So it's the second stitch, fourth and the sixth stitch. I'm going to drop them and latch back up. And if you're not sure, you can always drop one or two more stitches. So we'll make sure you get a continuous chain stitch and just latch back up. And we'll continue this latch up for both sides. Three columns here and three columns on the other side. And you can use this as a scarf if you make it narrow or you can make it into a baby blanket if you make it wider. So one side is down so this side doesn't curve anymore. And we'll do the other side the same way and we just keep going the same manner until 190 rows you'll be about 40 inches you can also add some cable stitch in the middle for this project it's probably good idea to add it here and here this is a zero so in the center of this panel and the center of that for me, I will just keep it simple for this project and continue my 190 rows. Every 10 or 20 rows, you can stop and drop down the three rows at the edge and latch it back up. And after that, we will just do a bind off. After you reach 190 rows, this is what it looks like. It's almost hitting the floor and we can start to bind off. You can bind off any way you want and I'm just going to use a sewing bind off. So using my yarn tail, I cut a long piece at least three times the width of the fabric and then just thread it through needle and we'll do the two stitch forward, one stitch back bind off for this row and take it off machine. Now we just need two identical rectangle pieces and we will assemble it to make it into a poncho. First you can take the end that doesn't have the ribbon and fold it to the center of the piece. And do the same on the other pieces. Now we just overlay one piece on top of another with a 90 degree angle.
the finished ribbon is on the edge and the unfinished one is the one that's going to be sewn together with another piece and it's the same on the other side so all we need is to sew up this edge and the same one on the other side is another edge we sew up those two and then we are done and if you like you can add some ribbon around that triangle neck if the opening is too big you can pick up stitch and do some ribbon and overlap it in that tip of the triangle and I like to use some pin or clip to hold it together first so the piece doesn't stretch it out too much and I just use a needle and piece of yarn you can stitch it up any way you want I think I will just use simple whip stitch when we sew this one it's not going to be exactly one stitch match one stitch because it's different direction and all I do is just go down from the center of the V and coming up from the other side of the V so that's it you just made the puncture thank you for watching and see you next week